Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blue Brand. Welcome to SmackDown Live. And we are live here in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. The home of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it looks like we're going to kick SmackDown Live off with the WWE Champion, AJ Styles. And AJ Styles last week he was not on SmackDown Live. But the week before that, AJ successfully retained his WWE Championship in his first defense against Kevin Owens, the former champion. But after the match, similar to SummerSlam, was attacked by Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era. But Sami Zayn came for the Zayn. Sami Zayn... Pretty much saving AJ Styles from from more more damage. And Styles seems like he's taking time off, a week off, as the WWE Champion. But he's here now on SmackDown Live, and it looks like he has a bone to pick with Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era. But Styles, he has a huge target on his back. You know, he's been targeted by others. Guys like Sami Zayn, guys like Samoa Joe, and even former champs like Kevin Owens, they want a piece of the WWE Championship pie. And AJ Styles, he is the beholder of that pie. And AJ Styles giving out the challenge to anyone in the back. And it appears that someone is going to answer it. And that man is the destroyer. The Samoan submission machine. Samoa Joe. And Samoa Joe, he has pleaded his case over the past couple of weeks that he has had a desire to become the WWE Champion even before SummerSlam when he was embroiled in one of the best feuds of the year with John Cena. He stated his intentions to become the WWE Champion, whether it was Kevin Owens, AJ Styles, he didn't, get, he didn't give a damn who it was. He wanted to become the champion, the face of SmackDown Live, the head honcho of the blue brand.
Wait a minute! Whoa, that's Sammy Zane! That's Sammy Zane! It's Sammy Zane! Kicked Adam Cole square in the jaw with that drop kicking down! Leveling Adam Cole on the stage of both of this feud. Both of these guys had just been going back and forth, attacking one another, and Adam Cole. Adam Cole gonna retreat here. Adam Cole gonna retreat here. It looks like Adam Cole gonna tease Sami Zayn from from the stage, but they're not too far. It's Sami Zayn! Almost knocked Adam Cole's head off! Almost knocked Adam Cole's head off with that clothesline. And here is Shane McMahon. Well, there you have it. That will be the main event of the evening. As Adam Cole takes on Kalisto in the main event of SmackDown Live. But that monumental tag match that Shane McMahon has prepared for next week's show. And there's Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, very, very possible, 100% possible that Kevin Owens has heard everything Shane McMahon said, everything Shane McMahon has announced for next week's show regarding the WWE Championship, and you know that Kevin Owens, he's not a happy man, he's, ever since he lost that WWE Championship, he's been on edge, he's been wanting to get back the title that he's that he's loved, the title that he's wanted to have for the rest of his career. And the Rhino makes his way down to the ring here tonight. And Rhino made his return last week on SmackDown Live in the main event when Rusev successfully retained that United States Championship against former champion Randy Orton. Rhino made his return to the WWE and scored the United States Champion out of his boots and Rhino is gonna have his first match here in the WWE and God knows how long probably 15 years that we've seen Rhino in a wrestling ring and Heath Slater man, this is the first time we've seen Heath Slater in a while Remember we saw, last time we saw Heath Slater he was just de demolished by an oblivion oh to an oblivion by Brock Lesnar and I don't know if Brock Lesnar is even employed with the company anymore, but Rhino, and oh, another spear in the corner as Rhino makes his, for his first match at WWE in many, many years here on SmackDown Live, here on the blue brand, and drops Heath Slater on the jaw. And you know Rusev is watching this contest, you know Rusev is watching every single step that Rhino takes after Rhino humiliated him last week and Rhino now oh and a lariat another lariat brings down Heath Slater and look at the strength of Rhino and what a counter by Heath Slater and Heath Slater I will stay on him but again Rhino just throws him up for a second time this time Heath Slater didn't have time to react as Rhino another lariat Bringing down Heath Slater with the Lariats. And Rusev and Rhino, very similar. Very similar in size, very similar in power, and very similar in moveset. Can able to, able to throw your opponent around is both Rhino and Rusev. That's their ability. That's what they can do. And that would be a clash and a suplex in the near future as Rhino... Just throws Heath Slater around the ring like a rag doll. And Rhino had before before he his first run in WWE, he had hella great matches with Eddie Guerrero. Guys like Eddie Guerrero. Guys like Edge. 
Guys like Rey Mysterio and shoulders are down. Kick out at two though. Matches with Chris, Chris Jericho, Edge, Eddie, and oh, and a spy buster by Rhino. Spine buster by Rhino. And Heath Slater. He is seeing stars right now on an elbow. Elbow. And Rhino now has him on his shoulders. And look at this. Oh, and the cutter. Cutter by Rhino. One of the ECW originals. Oh, and a knee right to the temple. That's Rhino. Gaining to look more. Getting to look for momentum as he heads into a, one of one of a, one of a clash, hell of a clash with the United States champion Rusev. We don't know what that is, but we've heard Rusev's disdain over the past couple of days following Rhino's return. Showed his, he showed his disdain in a power bomb as Rhino's been really happy. To be back here in the WWE ring, but it looks like Heath Slater's not gonna be happy one bit. He's gonna be in pain in the gore! Gore! Gore by Rhino! Gore by Rhino into Roos Heath Slater! And Rhino picks up the victory with that gore! And I think Rhino thinks it was Rusev. Might have thought, might have wanted Rusev to be in Heath Slater's position. As Rhino puts away Heath Slater here tonight on on SmackDown Live, and you know Rusev, Rusev and his wife Lana had to be watching that, watching that performance from Rhino. Rhino's first match in WWE, and I don't know how long, maybe 15, 14, 15 years, but it looks like Rusev's wife Lana is gonna confront. Rhino. And that eerie message from Bray Wyatt. But switching gears here. We're going to return to SmackDown Live with some one-on-one -on -one action. And that is simply undisputed as one-third, two-thirds, if you want to be frank, of Undisputed Era is in action tonight. But one-third of Undisputed Era is in action right now. And it's Kyle O'Reilly. The other third, the other of the one, two thirds of Undisputed Era that is in action tonight is Adam Cole, the head honcho of the Undisputed Era. He's set to take on the returning Kalisto, and that match is set to be a, a classic. As Kyle O'Reilly is set to make his one on one debut here on SmackDown Live, and Shane McMahon has not liked this three trio one bit. As soon as they made their names up on the scene here on SmackDown Live at SummerSlam, when they attacked the Usos and American Alpha, then they attacked AJ Styles. They left the, the Usos bloody the night following SummerSlam, and we haven't heard or seen from the Usos. Those are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, might I add. And we haven't heard from those two, those brothers, Jimmy and Jay Uso, the Jason Jordan. And Chad Gable of American Alpha want a piece of Undisputed Era. And these two teams have just been throwing lefts and rights all over SmackDown Live the past couple of weeks. And Shane McMahon has decided to put 
both members of Undisputed Era, all three members of Undisputed Era now, and both members of Undisputed of uh, American Alpha, excuse me, in action against one another. And Jason Jordan is set to go one on one with Kyle O'Reilly. And we're going to get some singles action from Jason Jordan. And Jason Jordan could be a really great singles competitor if he ever, if, if American Alpha ever decides to split ways or decides to operate as a oh, singles tag team. And now Kyle O'Reilly with the strikes. Striking away on Jason Jordan, but Jason Jordan saw it coming. And you know, both of these men want to fight. Both of these guys want to fight. And Jason Jordan able to throw Kyle O'Reilly over his head. Both of these guys, Jordan and O'Reilly, want to fight. It's going to be the same thing for Fish and Gable next week on SmackDown Live. And now Jason Jordan. There goes Kyle O'Reilly. There goes Kyle O'Reilly. And Kyle O'Reilly holding his ribs as Jason Jordan plays up to the crowd here in Pittsburgh. The home of the Pittsburgh Steelers as Kyle O'Reilly slowly gets in the ring. Oh, oh, and now Kyle O'Reilly knee right to the face and sweeps up Jason Jordan. Sweeped up, oh, one half of the former SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And you know Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, they want those SmackDown Tag Team Championships. And they're making one message. One message to American Alpha, one message to the Usos, and a universal message to the locker room. But you know, you have other teams besides American Alpha, Undisputed Era, and, and the Usos. We have the New Day, we have the Bludgeon Brothers, who we just saw last week on SmackDown Live get that victory over the New Day. And the SmackDown Tag Team Division is boiling, it's boiling hot. With new faces, with returning faces. That's Kyle O'Reilly stopping at the left knee of Jason Jordan. And now gonna kick away. Gonna kick away at Jason Jordan. And Kyle O'Reilly. You can just see the ferocity in his eyes. And drops Jason Jordan right on his head from that back suplex. And Kyle O'Reilly, a real under underrated treasure in my opinion. Gets his opportunity to be a single star here tonight on SmackDown Live. Against Jason Jordan, who's really an underrated single star as well. And Kyle O'Reilly going to stalk Jason Jordan. Going to wait till Jason Jordan gets to his feet. Wait a minute. Jason Jordan. Couldn't see that coming. Kyle O'Reilly with the size. Oh! Kind of has the size advantage. Kyle O'Reilly smaller than Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan... Albeit bigger, is usually the small guys that can come out on top. But Jason Jordan dropped Kyle O'Reilly right on his head from that German suplex. And another one. And it looks like Kyle O'Reilly is going to go to Suplex City. Jason Jordan, hype as ever. Another one. A third German suplex to Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly trying to get to his feet. Has to use the ropes as leverage. And Jason Jordan overhead. Overhead with that exploder suplex. And Jason Jordan is fired up. Jason Jordan is fired up here. Oh, and Pittsburgh. And overhead belly to belly. And Kyle O'Reilly feeling the wrath. Of one half of American Alpha, Jason Jordan. And now the Northern Light Suplex. Again an overhead suplex by Jason Jordan. The strength of Jason Jordan is insurmountable. Oh! And he just drops 260 pounds onto Kyle O'Reilly's midsection. And oh, and a jawbreaker. Well scouted by Kyle O'Reilly. And now O'Reilly just dumps Jason Jordan right onto the top rope. Right onto the top rope. What is this? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, Kyle O'Reilly. Arm bar. Arm bar. But oh, grabs the legs as well. Grabs the leg as well. And look at this submission maneuver by Kyle O'Reilly. Applied by Kyle O'Reilly onto Jason Jordan. And Jason Jordan might be in big trouble here. 
Richie got the arms and the legs, but Jason Jordan with the power. Power and the fight to get out of that maneuver. As Jason Jordan back suplex snow. Kyle O'Reilly, but shoulders down, rolled up by O'Reilly. Rolled up by O'Reilly. And wait a minute, Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly with the sneak victory. Steals the victory here on SmackDown Live. Kyle O'Reilly steals the victory over Jason Jordan. O'Connor roll. Shoulders were down for Jason Jordan. And Kyle O'Reilly is victorious in his debut on SmackDown Live. Against American Alpha. And Jason Jordan is beside himself. Can't believe that Kyle O'Reilly got the victory. And it appears that Adam Cole can't believe he got the victory as well. And these two, they're going to be partners next week on SmackDown Live. Joe and Adam Cole. And Adam Cole promising that the Undisputed Era, his boys, will have his back. But we saw this man on Raw. We're now going to see Andrade seeing Almas on SmackDown Live. Andrade seeing Almas, still a free agent here in the WWE, is yet to sign with the brand, yet to sign with Raw, or yet to sign with SmackDown Live. He's, he's the hottest free agent despite being, despite the superstar shakeup being over and done with. It was announced by Vince McMahon that deals with NXT stars can be extended. And the certain deal that he was speaking of was the deal between Andrade C and Almas and Raw and SmackDown Live. Vince McMahon decided to keep the superstar shakeup going on. For a couple of more weeks as either Shane McMahon or Eric Bischoff is able to finalize a deal with Andrade Cien Almas. And if you're able to finalize a deal with Andrade, whether it's on Raw or whether it's on SmackDown Live, you will know. You will know exactly what you're in, what you're up against, what you're in for. A future world champion, in my opinion. Is Andrade seeing Almas? He's that good. And Almas, he's wearing the colors of SmackDown Live, blue and white. And I do not envy Zack Ryder at all, but this could be an opportunity for Zack Ryder if he's able to put away a, a huge star. Like I said, a future world champion and Andrade seeing Almas. But look at the attire that Andrade seeing Almas is wearing. Andrade seeing Almas wearing blue. The colors of SmackDown Live didn't wear any hint of red on Raw. Just wore white and black. Is this a message to SmackDown Live? Is it a message to any everybody? We'll have to find out here as Zack Ryder goes one on one, goes up against Andrade C and Almas. And both of these guys, collar and elbow tie up here. Zack Ryder brings down Andrade. But Andrade. With the wherewithal, with the in-ring awareness and the skill and the elbow over the head. Elbow over the head. And oh! And look at Andrade. Tranquillo. Oh, and Zack Ryder is trying to, oh! Trying to poke fun, but it looks like Andrade saying, oh, is coming with the strikes here. And Zack Ryder, he's stunned. He stumbled. Stumbled by those elbows. Stumbled by those chops. And now Ryder, he tried to rush Almas. Tried to rush Almas. And now Almas with a chop. Chopping the hairs off Zach, of Zach's chest. Oh, Zach Ryder with a drop kick picture. Perfect drop kick. Landing right on the, chin, right on the chin of Andrade. Oh, Almas with an elbow. Almas with an elbow. And now... 
Drop Zack Ryder. Drop Zack Ryder. And now Almas. And if, if, if SmackDown Live is able to acquire Andrade C and Almas and able to have Andrade C and Almas on their roster, look at the dream matches that I'm about to come up with. With that will be astronomical for Andrade C and Almas. Andrade C and Almas versus Randy Orton. Andrade C and Almas versus AJ Styles. Andrade C and Almas versus Adam Cole. Andrade C and Almas versus Sami Zayn. Almas versus Joe. Almas versus Wyatt. Almas versus Orton. And that's just a handful of talent that I just named that Andrade C and Almas can go up against here on SmackDown Live. If he is able to sign, if he wants to sign with the blue brand. Because honestly, it's all Zelina Vegas and Andrade C. And Almas' choice. Who, where they want to be. And now Almas has the arm of Zack Ryder and able to launch him. Just the skills of Andrade C. And Almas. It's just insurmountable. And oh, the elbows right to the jaw. And now Almas on the top rope. Moonsault, no, Ryder rolled out of the way, but the feint. Almas able to get up on his feet at the right time and hit that moonsault, standing moonsault. Oh, knee right to the kidney. Knee right to the kidney. And now Almas stomp right to the chest. And now. And Almas now going to seize him, going to wait. For Zack Ryder to get to his feet. Pele kick. Pele kick by Andrade C. And Almas. And this might just be curtains for Zack Ryder. And the difference between Raw and SmackDown I have seen is that Almas, he's faced against a local talent on Raw. Oh, and a hammerlock DDT. And on SmackDown, he's facing off against uh, an established talent like Zack Ryder. Cause what does so? What does that mean between Raw and SmackDown Live? And Andrade with that hammerlock DDT from the top rope, and you will never kick out of that. There's only a few people that have, but Andrade seeing all this absolutely devastating maneuver as Andrade. See, and Almas is successful in his first match here on SmackDown Live. Is this a sign of things to come for El Idolo? And for ladies and gentlemen, scheduled for next week's episode of SmackDown Live, the other half of Undisputed Era and Bobby Fish will take on the other half of American Alpha, Chad Gable. And next week, our main event for next week's show, WWE Champion AJ Styles and Sami Zayn Taking on the leader of Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, and Samoa Joe. A can't miss episode. Now, ladies and gentlemen, switching gears to this feud, this rivalry that's been brewing for the past couple of weeks between Noam Dar, Shelton Benjamin, and Lars Sullivan. It all started on the SmackDown following SummerSlam when Noam Dar managed to put away Shelton Benjamin and Shelton Benjamin's SmackDown return. And Lars Sullivan came in, and Lars Sullivan just caused nothing but destruction for Noam Dar and Shelton Benjamin. And then, next, then last week, a brawl ensued in the parking lot with Benjamin and Sullivan and Dar going at it. And it led to Shane McMahon making the match here for tonight. Noam Dar going one-on-one -on -one against Lars Sullivan. I do not want to be Noam Dar. I do not envy no M Dar at all. But like I said, an opportunity is an opportunity. If you're able to take down a big man and Lars Sullivan, you are capable of doing big things, no pun intended here, in the WWE as No M Dar, the Scottish Supernova, loved here by the audience, despite his attitude, despite the way he acts, he is still loved by the WWE Universe but I don't think the WWE Universe loves this guy one bit and I don't think he gives a damn it's Lars Sullivan the freak from the Rocky Mountains and Lars Sullivan 
You saw the destruction that Lars Sullivan has made, has created in his wake. It's only been a month since Lars Sullivan's been on the main roster. And ever since then, Lars Sullivan has created nothing but a path of destruction for himself. A path of destruction for SmackDown Live. Defeated Sin Cara, defeated Kalisto at SummerSlam, and now has his eyes set on the Scottish Supernova and the gold standard Shelton Benjamin as Noam Dar is set for probably the fight of his career against Lars Sullivan. And that man right there, a freak of nature, trained with the best, trained with Brock Lesnar was endorsed by Brock Lesnar and when you're endorsed by Brock Lesnar I have to say big things are ahead of you and big things are ahead for Lars Sullivan and this match is not going to be for the faint of heart here this is going to be nothing shy of brutal here as Noam Dar Noam Dar with the smart strategy leaving the ring Making sure Lars Sullivan can't catch up. But wait a minute, Lars Sullivan! Looks like he trapped Noam Dar below. Noam Dar now with the speed. He has to speed it. He has a speed advantage over Lars Sullivan. And oh, and now Noam Dar trapping Lars Sullivan in an uppercut. Trapped Lars Sullivan. Trapped Lars Sullivan and now stopping a mud hole into Sullivan's chest. And Noam Dar able to find a way around. And now Dar kicking away at Lars Sullivan. Was kicking away at Lars. And now Lars. Both of these men butt heads though. And Lars Sullivan. I think he's seeing stars from that head. From that head butting. And now Noam Dar with the speed. And oh. No doubt. Lars Sullivan is seeing the effects of that headbutt, seeing the effects of being dizzy, was running after Noam Dar. Was running after Noam Dar. And now Dar again, able to sidestep Lars. And that's the game that Noam Dar, he has to play here. And you can just see Lars Sullivan getting furious. Getting furious and oh wait a minute, the referee knocked, referee knocked. And now Noam Dar. You can just see Lars Sullivan getting all the more angrier. All the more angrier to get his hands on Noam Dar. And Noam Dar now. Lars Sullivan can't land a shot here. He can't land a shot on Noam Dar. And Noam Dar is able to land his shots on the big man. And now Noam Dar. A chop it. Oh my god. Oh. You can hear that through the nosebleeds. Here in Pittsburgh, that chop almost rocked Noam Dar. Almost ripped the chest off. Oh! Ripped, almost ripped chest off bone from that chop. And now, now, Lars Sullivan's in control. And oh, God. Choke slamming Noam Dar to the ground. And now, oh, gonna throw Noam Dar across the ring. And this does not look good. For the Scottish Supernova. And again a Beal. Another Beal. By Lars Sullivan. And oh come on. Come on. Lars Sullivan scraping. Dar's face. On the. Get able to slam. Just deadlifting. Noam Dar. Deadlifting. The Scottish Supernova. Noam Dar only 170 pounds. Lars Sullivan with the ability just to just latch on, let have hang time, have Noam Dar have hang time, and just slam him down to the ground is just utterly scary. That's scary. The size and the speed of Lars Sullivan. The speed, the size, the agility of Lars Sullivan is simply scary. As he has Noam Dar up, but Noam Dar saw it coming. Noam Dar now. Elbows to the kidney, elbows to the kidney, and Lars Sullivan is down to a knee. Lars Sullivan is down to a knee, now Lars Sullivan is down. And these people in Pittsburgh are rooting for Noam Dar and a stop right to the arm. 
stopping away at the freak Lars Sullivan. And now Dar wants him to his feet, and he oh. And I think, oh my God, neck breaking clothesline there by Lars Sullivan, and Lars, Lars, a Beal, oh my God, across the ring. Across the ring and oh! German suplex and Noam Dar landed right on his head. Turbuckle hit head. Turnbuckle hit head with that German suplex and now Lars Sullivan. Oh God! Able to get on the able to get on the ropes and able to deliver such a devastating maneuver. And now need to temple. Need to temple and no Dar. He's in, he's in, he he needs, he needs help. He's in trouble here. And might need a frenemy. Might need a common a common enemy, a common friend for a common enemy and Shelton Benjamin to help him out. But I spoke too soon. I don't think Noam Dar needs any help here as he's taking on Lars Sullivan. Oh. Sullivan, like I said, with the speed and the agility, able to drop down and trip up Noam Dar. Dar's out. Dar's out cold. Dar rolling to safety, but there's no safety. No safety when you're around Lars Sullivan. And wait a minute, Noam Dar now. Noam Dar showing his prowess. Showing his prowess here. And now has Dar lifted up. Has Dar lifted up? What is this? Oh my God! Lars Sullivan just threw Noam Dar to that LED post. Face first into the LED post. And Lars Sullivan. And I think Noam Dar. I think Noam Dar's busted open. Yes, I think. Yeah, Noam Dar's busted open. He is busted open. And oh, the knee. The referee might have to stop this. Referee might have to stop this match here. Oh! Crimson Mask for the Scottish Supernova here. Crimson Mask for Noam Dar. And now Lars Sullivan sees what's, a, what, see what's ahead of him. Sees what he sees. And a, oh, and a headbutt. Right to the heart. And this guy, Noam Dar, has a lot of heart. More heart than Lars Sullivan will ever have. And oh, what a freak! Freak! Accident! No, 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 not again. Not again! Not again! Freak accident! Bone jarring! Freak accident by Lars Sullivan! And Lars Sullivan puts away.